Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, my name is Busabi Moliayo and I'm a registered nurse living and practicing in Nigeria. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare and in today's video, I am going to be discussing about a product called boric acid. I'm going to be talking about the product, what it is used for, when it should be used, when it should not be used, misconceptions about it, as well as alternatives to the use of boric acid. So if you're interested in finding out everything I just mentioned, make sure you watch this video to the very end and let's go. The sale of boric acid has actually been on the rise. There are a lot of companies as well as individuals that are producing or manufacturing or mixing this um, product and sending it out to people. And the main reason people are purchasing is because it has been said to um, cure vagina, um, bacterial vaginosis, like vaginal infections like bacterial vaginosis and vulval vaginal candidiasis, also known as yeast infection and um, vaginal thrush. That's what people actually purchase this um, substance or these products for with the aim of curing them but is it really um, that straightforward is it exactly what they say it is can it exactly do what they've been saying it does that's what i'm going to be discussing so the first thing about um, boric acid suppositories which people purchase is that a lot of people buy them because they want to use it to keep their vagina fresh or they want to do a routine cleansing of their vagina now this is wrong this is very very wrong your vagina is a self cleansing organ do you get my point it means it can clean itself on its own like it is designed in a way that it can push out um unwanted um substances in itself on its own it has like its own mechanism of doing that i just want to make it I'm very simple not to cumbersome in medical terms that's why I'm, I'm trying to like water down my explanation so it has its own mechanism of cleaning itself you do not need to help your vagina to do that you do not need to help it in any way and your vagina is not supposed to smell like rose or perfume or give like this um, um, nice fragrance or this um, feminine fragrance that like a lot of people believe the vagina has its odor on its own and it's not like what most people expect it to be okay so you're not supposed to help your vagina clean itself with the use of boric acid it is wrong and when you continuously um, put in boric acid into your vagina one disadvantage is that it's going to kill both the good and the bad bacteria in there Ideally, there are things called normal flora which should be in your vagina like it helps your vagina to do its self-cleansing job to stay healthy What boric acid can do is that it can kill everything if you use it routinely and cause more harm than good And you could also get vaginal irritation from constantly putting boric acid vaginal suppositories in there Do you get my point? The next thing I want to clarify about the use of boric acid vaginal suppositories is that can it be used in the treatment of bacterial vaginosis and Vulvo vaginal candidiasis. Now, bacterial vaginosis is an infection that um, has this characteristic of fishy vaginal odor. Do you get it? Um, the discharge from vagina smells like fish, uh, that's bacterial vaginosis. Then, vulvo vaginal candidiasis, also known as yeast infection or vaginal thrush, is um, an infection that gives this characteristic um, cottage cheese like discharge from the vagina. I'll put up a picture so you guys can see. Is boric acid used in the treatment of these two infections? Yes, but it is not that straightforward, okay? So this is it. Boric acid vaginal suppositories are not first-line drugs in the treatment of these infections. In other words, if you come down with this, the first thing your doctor or your physician or your healthcare provider is going to prescribe is definitely not boric acid vaginal suppositories. It is not an ultimate or 100% cure for it. So the first thing your... Um, a healthcare provider is going to do is try to diagnose the exact type of vaginal infection that you have there are different things that could cause a vaginal infection it could be a virus it could be a bacteria it could be a fungi so if it is a fungi you are going uh, most definitely going to be prescribed um, an antifungal medication if it is a bacterial infection then definitely you're going to have an antibiotic it's a viral infection probably an antiviral or combined with it, uh, an antibiotic that's what you're going to um, the your healthcare provider is going to prescribe for you not boric acid vaginal suppositories and so you, and just so you know boric acid is an acid like it is literally an acid just like the name implies but it is a weak acid you understand it is not as concentrated as hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid it is a weak acid do you get my point 
so it should not even be ingested orally that's why most of the um, individuals or companies that produce or, pr or prepare these products they prepare them as vaginal suppositories it should not be ingested orally so if you have things like that at home please keep it away from children because if they ingest it it could cause a lot of problem that's by the way anyway so what i said is that fine it is used in the treatment of bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection but they are not first time drugs now when um will you be required or would you be pre or will boric acid vaginal suppositories be prescribed for you it will be prescribed if you have a recurrent bacterial vaginitis and what does it mean to have a recurrent bacterial vaginitis it means you've had like three or more episodes of bacterial vaginosis in the space of 12 months now bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection do reoccur but it's a normal thing <laughs> okay i would say it's a normal thing because an infection is definitely not normal but it is not um unusual to find these infections reoccurring so your healthcare provider is most likely going to add not the word add boric acid to your um treatment regimen add so it's not as if it is an automatic or 100 percent cure and it is not a first line drug it can be added and there's going to be a particular dosage you're not just supposed to start pushing it up there in mass there's going to be like a particular dosage that is going to prescribe be prescribed for you so what should you do before you start using boric acid vaginal suppositories number one visit the hospital or visit a professional healthcare practitioner please let them assess you um probably um advise you on the necessary medical checkups or tests that you need to do to ascertain if you even need boric acid vaginal suppositories in the first place do not just go over the counter and procure them and start abusing them and just start taking them only the name of i want to be fresh down there you are fresh already your vagina is designed in a way to keep itself fresh you do not need to help it to keep itself fresh i hope you get my point so if you actually want to keep it fresh there are alternatives to procuring drugs that you're not even um, sure of the dosage or the need their alternatives okay and number one is watch your habits like your toileting habits if you're going to be cleaning after using the toilet you're supposed to wipe from front to back why you should not be transferring fecal matter from your anus to your vagina no so you're not supposed to wipe from back to front you're supposed to wipe from front to back like you wipe from your vagina towards your anus that is one thing that you can do to ensure you are fresh down there number two avoid vaginal douching is it douching or douching i pronounce it as douching sorry but avoid vaginal douching that's like pushing in um, a large amount of water into your vagina in the hopes of washing it please avoid that another thing you can do is to increase your fluid intake you know some of you guys actually have uti thinking it is vaginal infection and you're taking boric acid suppositories like you're using the wrong thing for I don't even know how to put it you have a wrong um, problem you're taking a different solution entirely that does not even relate to the problem that you have so you should increase your fluid intake to help you increase uh, increase your urine production urine production actually um, increased urine production actually helps you to like reduce reduce your chances of coming down with a UTI so increasing your fluid intake is another thing you can do to help yourself be fresh down there without actually having to put anything into your vagina do you get my point another thing you can do for yourself is to pay attention to the type of underwear that you wear and how long you put on your underwear like let it breathe okay let that baby breathe <laughs> all right and finally another thing you can do is to take showers over i'm um, using a bathtub now if you use a bathtub you know how do i even put it you're baiting into the water that is in the bathtub so the amount of death or microorganism in the water continues to increase while you're taking your bath and because you're naked in the bathtub the water could get into your vagina to cause infections you get my point so but if you're under a shower the water keeps washing off and goes straight into the drain so pick showers over bathtubs if you're trying to remain fresh down there do you get my point so if you have more questions about um, boric acid vaginal suppositories or about vaginal infections you can drop them in the comment section and see more videos where i talk about issues like vaginal infections um reproduction this and that click on this playlist here and i want to see you in my next video
Bye.